Hello and welcome to Shom Tips. Today in this video, how you can install OS or Windows OS in the laptop which comes with the pre-installed free DOS and how you can partition any hard disk. So watch this video till the end. Subscribe to Shom Tips and hit the bell icon and get notification of new videos from Shom Tips. First of all, you have to burn the Windows OS into a DVD and if you do not know how to download Windows, I have the given the video link in the card and also given the link how you can burn the Windows OS into a bootable USB. So all the videos watch for your future reference. So after inserting this pen drive, press on the power button, I am using the DHP laptop. Then keep pressing F9 button unless and until it shows up the boot menu. And here you can see the boot menu order have been shown. Here it is the SanDisk pen drive. If you are entering the DVD, select the DVD drive. And after selecting the DVD drive, hit on enter. It will boot up from your external media drive like DVD or pen drive. So as soon as you start, here you can see, you will see that the windows is loading from the media. So here you can see now the select the language and currency all the I am going to select India and all the currency all be India. So after this click on the install now. As soon as you click on install now setup starting will be window will be opened. So here you can see I do not have a product key press enter if you purchase windows press the product key there. So if you have not purchased only downloaded click on I do not have a printer. Now select the version that recommended is 64 bit so next we'll press and go to i accept the all the terms and condition as soon as you accept the terms and condition here you can see you have to choose on the custom install as soon as you custom install this kind of drive will show as the device came with the pre-installed free dos so you have to delete all the drives existing drive because the mbr partition is given there but the windows 10 suppose gpt so you have to delete all the drives so after deleting all the drives here you can see fully unallocated is there so it is recommended 80 gb for 500 gb hard disk and 150 gb primary c drive for the 1 tb hard disk now convert your required gb of the c drive into mb using calculator so after converting enter the mb press on apply and then click on next an additional drive or system drive will be created you do not need to be worried just select on that drive of 150 gb i have created here select that and go to next and other drives is unallocated there 750 mb so i will create other drives after using the after installing the windows so click on next on the c drive which is the primary drive so it will take about average 30 minutes so you have to wait so i'm forwarding the video so here you can see windows have been installed now it's asking for network so i'm going to skip and this is the recommended setting so i'm going to change something to reduce the data usage so i'm going to disable the diagnosis report and some report will be sent over the internet connection or synced to windows server so i'm going to disable all this because it will reduce the internet usage so that's why i'm doing if, if you do not want you cannot you can leave it at its default so i'm going to change it because i want to save my internet so after doing all the things i have shown in the screen what you have to do you have to wait and first of all you have to create a default user account so here you can see the default user account you can create any name without any password and then if your user live id or windows id will be the primary so before that just click any kind of username and it will go into the and there is the cortana you can use or you can do not use so as you recommend as you want you can do what you want so after this it will show high and your device is going to be prepared so please wait until it's ready so here you can see windows have been started and windows skin have came i have successfully installed windows 10 to check the windows is installed or not here i am going to show you how can check so go to my computer and then properties here you can see windows 10 is installed 64 bit operating system with intel i3 and here you can see all the details of 4gb ram and all the inside motherboard is given there so i am going to now do the record other partitions how you can partition your hard disk from the M command prompt so here you can see that 
my com my computer is about one drive is c drive is there 149 gb but my hard disk is 1 tb so to check my hard disk is available right click on this pc go to manage then go to storage then go to disk management and here you will see that here it can see this is the system partition as i already showed in my the setup video of windows 10 in my hp laptop so here you can see 781 gb is unallocated so to create a partition you can click on this and click on new simple volume but i will recommend you always create a system partition or the primary partition so these blue colors are primary partition but simple partition cannot contain any kind of os so to for future yeah, and enable the OS compatibility so you have to do a partition of primary partition to go to do this go to the search and type this part remember to do this you have to log in using the administrative account click on this go to yes and here you can see Dixpart have opened so, so list space Dix will show you the disk which is now connected to your laptop or desktop so here you can see only one disk is disk 0 available 931 gb is total size 791 is the unallocated or free space so to select any disk go to select disk 0 enter select disk 0 space enter so now disk will be selected so now what you have to enter remember and watch this carefully Sp create space partition space primary space size equal to remember after this you are going to assign a size of your drive so remember here if you want to make any kind of drive which contains of 100 gb of data you cannot enter here 100 so what you have to do you have to convert your 100 gb to your corresponding mbs so 100 gb corresponding mb will be 102400 so after this create enter so here is now Dixpart succeeded in creating specified partition so this partition have been created so only one partition I have done and to see how many av space available here you can see 681 GB still available previous one 781 so 100 GB have been occupied now the question is that if you are now going to my computer you cannot see any kind of disk because this is a raw file so to so enable it in my computer or this PC go to the again manage from the this PC if you are on Windows 10 and it will be my computer if you are on Windows 7 so click to disk management and here you can see this 100 GB is it all so right click on this create on format any level you can select is like you can also select is document or data suppose I am now going to save as data so after clicking data and here you can all thing is default default and perform quiz can click on ok so after it is formatting it will show you the NTFS it has been changed format from raw now click on change drive letter and path click and letter or path and here you go I'm going to say it is a D drive so click on ok and and here it is your drive is now ready and here it is 99.9 GB so D drive is ready in this way you can make as many partition as you can unless and until your free space is occupied so in this way you can make partition easily using a command prompt so if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and if you are facing any comment com any problem comment here thanks for watching this video and stay subscribed to some tips